I wanted to bring this to the forefront because it really does show you that the neoliberals aren't really sure what to do, right? That the neoliberals, as their system collapses, as their system runs out of gas, um, and they don't really have any way to shore it up in any serious way, they just don't know what to do. Bank of Canada in a pickle when it comes to housing, National Bank, right? So National Bank economist Warren Lovely said the Bank of Canada is in a tough spot ahead of its monetary policy decision Wednesday, given housing markets all over the country are battling affordability. Uh, they don't actually say it within the article, but really the, the entire article just sort of says like, yeah, what's the Bank of Canada supposed to do, right? Because their whole system of transferring the economic growth of the nation into the housing market and then having billionaires buy up that market, well, they're, they're running out of road, right? They're running out of road. And uh, if, they raise, uh, um, if they raise interest rates, right, which is sort of the classic way to deal with this, interest rates right now are super low. So literally anybody can borrow money at like almost nothing. That like, it, and especially if you're one of the hyper wealthy, you can literally borrow money at like negative interest. They're, they're, liter they're literally giving money away to try and keep this economy going. Um, but if they jack up the interest rates, that doesn't matter to the wealthy. Right? The wealthy are rich. The wealthy have money. Like They've got all the money in the world. They're not borrowing this money to, 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 to do this. And in fact, there are lots of systems in place so that, uh, uh, so that the government borrows money from the wealthy at interest, in fact. And it's just like this insane, like the, anytime you see a public-private par partnership or anything like this, you have these odd connections. And so you end up with weird statements, like not an easy place for the Bank of Canada, given the risk and given the uncertainty. A sort of stand pat decision perhaps makes the most sense. Suffice it to say, there are some question marks around the ability of the labor market to continue to generate good jobs. Like this guy's literally just like throwing out the, the and these these are the people who are in control of things. These are the people who we've put in charge of kind of knowing what's going on. Yet yeah, we see lots of reasons to expect inflation to prove a bit sticky, said Lovely, to remain perhaps in an uncomfortable zone for central bankers, not just for one or two months, but for an expected period of time. So this is like the calmest, nicest way to say that our economy is going into the shitter, that our economy is totally going into the shitter, that all of our prices are going to go through the roof as the billionaire class buys up all of the commodities, and nobody is even offering solutions because guess what? In a collapsing capitalist system, the only solution is to be rid of the collapsing capitalist system. Exactly, Crouching. It's a snake eating its own tail. And the only thing that you can do is to pry its own tail out of its mouth and then, <laughs> you know, try to actually build a real economy based on something, right? Based on actually helping people, right? Do you think that the housing issue is a sim symptom of wealth inequality? Like they are so rich they've run out of investment schemes that are realistic? Yeah. I, I mean, you answer your own question. That's exactly what it is. They don't have anything else to buy. They don't have anywhere else to put their money. And they don't care if you have a house, right? They don't give a shit about that at all. So they're literally just like buying up anything they can in order to have stable places to keep their money while simultaneously collapsing the economy that we all require, right? Like, uh, uh, and wealth inequality itself is a symptom of neoliberal capital, right? Like it's just natural that this occurs given the structure of neoliberal capital. And then wealth inequality spurs stupid nonsense like Jeff Bezos shooting a rocket into space and shit like that right like so and and things are going to get really dumb like we're going to see some really dumb shit I fear <laughs> like they're talking about putting like billboards in space where you'll look up at space and there'll be like literally a billboard floating by like that kind of like and that's dumb like that's just really really dumb fuck shit and and we're going to see that kind of shit before this ends like we're going to see all this because uh, before it ends